If you're watching this video, you're either a photographer, a content creator, or shopping for somebody who is. In this video, what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through five things that I feel every content creator needs in their backpack. Let's get into it. So it's the holiday season and it's time to start buying presents, maybe for someone else, maybe for you. But either way, there is a few essential items that I feel every content creator needs in their backpack, whether you're just starting out or you're really getting into the full swing of creating video content for your business. Now I'm leaning this video towards the photographer slash content creator, but this honestly goes for anybody who's trying to create any sort of video for their business, for advertising, for getting on social media, for anything like that. These are all essential products that I feel definitely could help you grow your business. And if this is your first time here, my name is Josh. I'm a professional photographer, a photography coach, and a content creator. And my goal is to help photographers and small business grow on the internet. So if that pertains to you, could you go ahead and do me a favor and hit the subscribe or the follow it would mean the biggest deal to me. Thank you so much. And now all of these products that I'm going to be showing in this video, there's a link in the description down below to take you to my kit page, and that will give you the links that you need to get any of these products. And without further ado, let's get into the first one. Now, I'll let you know that the first two, I do not have any sort of boxes for. The other three, I do still have the boxes for. And the first one you're gonna wanna get is going to be a cage for your phone. Yes, this might sound a little crazy. Why would you want a cage for your phone? Or what is a cage for the phone? Basically what it does is it takes your cell phone, whether it's an Android, whether it's an iPhone, whatever it is, whatever model, uh, there's a company called Small Rig. Small Rig is the main company that I would suggest to use. Uh, and they make a cage. And what it does is it fits around your phone. You slide your phone in here like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you cold shoe mounts on it. It's going to give you quarter 20 screw in spots in it, as well as the small rig ones themselves allow you to put third party ad uh, lens adapters on here. So you can use a third party lens and get a wide angle or a zoom with the best camera that's on your iPhone or on your Android. Another thing that you can do with this is you can actually put attachments on it. So with those quarter 20 or that cold shoe, you could put your handle grips on it, you could put a microphone, you could put a light, you could put a hard drive holder on it, that way you can connect directly to an SSD. But this is one of those things that I really feel is essential when you're creating content. But the thing is, is once you have that, then what do you do with it? So that's where we're getting into product number two. So product number two is going to be one of these tripod selfie sticks, and they do actually extend as well. So it is a tripod as well as a selfie stick. Now the cool thing is, is you could actually just go ahead and mount your phone directly in here if you wanted. Otherwise, what I do is I use this quarter 20 screw that's in it and go directly into my phone mount. So then what we're doing is we're mounting our phone directly to this tripod. And we have ourselves a full vlogging slash YouTube slash behind the scenes slash content creation kit here where I could have my phone in here and I could just go ahead and talk to it if I wanted. I could set it up behind the scenes and do some time lapse or whatever I need to do with it. This is a great little setup to have here is the selfie tripod as well as the small rig cage. I think this is just a fantastic combo. It's kind of deadly. You could, you could, well, I mean, it's deadly. I like I could, but that's not what I'm talking about. So these are the first two products here. Let's get into the third one right now. We're gonna upgrade the video quality a little bit. So the third one I wanna talk about is actually this bad boy right here. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This thing has changed the way that I create content. When I bought this a couple months ago, I didn't realize that the small investment that I was making was going to substantially change the way that I create stuff. This little camera, for 600-ish dollars is just an absolute monster when it comes to creating short form content, when it comes to creating behind the scenes stuff, when it comes to even doing talking heads. Most of my talking heads now are done with it as well. This thing is seriously a game changer. It has the gimbal built into it so you don't have to worry about the stabilization being very bad. 
It has the DJI mic. Now to get that, you need to buy the creator combo, which is a little bit more expensive, but definitely, definitely worth it. Upgrade, you get the battery charger, you get the tripod, and then you get the DJI mic, which automatically connects to this. And you're actually listening to the DJI mic right now, which is hiding on me somewhere. That sounds bad. But it will actually record itself internally as well, so you don't need to have this. So not only are you upgrading your camera from just your cell phone to this, you're also simultaneously upgrading your audio too for your videos. Then what you can do is you can take your video clips that already have the audio baked into them, bring it into an app like CapCut, cut it up and create your content with just this. So this is my current setup. This is the selfie tripod and then the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. That's what I'm running with. That's what 99% of the videos that I create are using now. Now let's say that you've upgraded your camera and you got the DJI mic, but you still wanna create these first person shots, the ones that look really good when you're making TikToks as a photographer, or even if you uh, own a florist shop or something like that, and you wanna show a first person clip, what I suggest is the Insta360 X4. Insta360 has really stepped their game up when it comes to quality over the years. The X3 was incredible, but when this X4 came out, this changed it, this changed everything for me. I mount this directly to my chest on a GoPro chest plate. I just use a third party chest plate. I will mount this directly on my chest. And then when I am photographing, it just captures everything. The cool thing about the Insta360 is it's a 360 camera. So I can mount it on that tripod, set it out somewhere and just hit record and it let it do its thing. From then on out, I can edit later and reframe and use the parts that I want. You can shoot vertically, you can shoot horizontally, it doesn't matter because you're capturing everything. And then you just go and you reframe later. This is one of those pieces that I didn't really realize how important it was until I got it and started using it. Now, the funny thing is, is I own other 360 cameras back in the day. I never used them. I just didn't think the video quality was up to par. It just didn't look professional enough for me. But when they came out with this that has 8K, 30 frames, I use it at 5.7K at 60 frames most of the time, but I do go up to 8K every now and then. This camera just changed the way that I implement those first person videos. Those POV videos are really what get the most views on my channel. So I highly suggest getting one. There is so much more that you can do with this, but when I'm using it, I'm using it at that POV or that first person shooter type camera footage. So Insta360 X4 absolutely has to be on your list. And the last thing that I want to talk about, you've actually been seeing it the entire time, that's lighting. You need to make sure that you have some professional lighting when you're making anything that's talking head or in videos. You could get a small LED panel if you wanted, but what I highly suggest is the Westcott U60B. This thing is a bi-color light, meaning it can go warm or cool and it is a 60 watt COB or chip on board LED light. This light I just got a couple weeks ago and it has impressed me so much that I'm telling everybody instantly go buy some. The cool thing is, is it's super affordable. It'll bring a professional look to your videos, especially if you're doing talking heads and stuff like this that you never knew you needed mm. until you got it. It has a remote with it. It has a soft box that's proprietary to it so it mounts right on it and it is just, a workhorse when it comes to lighting. I've tried all sorts of different lights from small LED panels to big giant lights to everything in between. This has it all. This is really, I can't suggest this light enough. And here's the cool thing about this U60 is it's pretty transportable. Now you do need to plug it into a power source so you will need to figure that out. But other than that, the light is pretty much ready to go. Its form factor is super small. I bring it to my house and I bring it to the office both at the same time. Like it literally, I just take it back and forth with me because it's so small and easy to transport. And here's a little cool thing. If you wanna buy this Westcott U60, I can give you a discount code. All you have to do is click the link down below and you can get yourself one of these bad boys for a little bit cheaper. Now, if you do use that discount code, I also make a small percentage of that. So thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. But these are the five things that I feel every photographer slash content creator slash small business can benefit from this Christmas. All of them are very affordable, sub $1,000. Most of them are sub $500. Some of them are under $100. 
So this is all equipment that you can invest into your business without really breaking the bank. You just have great looking videos with just these small upgrades. Now, if you do wanna upgrade your professional quality even more, maybe you could consider checking out the Photog Nation. It's my online private learning club where I teach a little bit of everything from photography, business, video, and pretty much anything that you wanna learn that I have the knowledge to give you. This is a private learning club. It's not just a course. Yes, there's a video library. You get direct access to me with a bi-weekly live stream and a whole lot of other perks. So if you wanna check that out, Go ahead, check out photognation.com. Join the wait list because it's not open to the public all the time. So go ahead, head over there. If it's not available to sign up, join the wait list and we'll get you the information as soon as possible. Other than that, links for all these five products are down in the description. I hope I could help you this holiday make some decisions about what to get yourself or what to get that content creator slash videographer slash photographer in your life. So I hope you have a very, very happy holidays. I'm very thankful for everything that has happened in my life. And I thank all of you for sticking around, joining me, subscribing, commenting, doing all the fun things that really make this job so much more entertaining. So thanks again, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces, or should I say, Mooses. I don't know. Happy holidays, guys.